Welcome to the demo of Boundless Analytics. Uh, here we're going to show you a very simple example uh, for one data set, which is IMDb Movies Database from Kaggle. Uh, but just to uh, uh, show you the breadth of the, of the tool, I mean, this is a bunch of data sets which we have uh, currently loaded to, to the data and to Boundless Analytics. And uh, you can see a wide variety of data sets from Titanic, uh, famous Titanic data set, to uh, allergy data sets, uh, fatal police shootings data, houses for rent, uh, 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 video games, uh, and you know many, many more. But let's go to movies IMDb data set and that here you can see the attributes of this data set, which is uh, <clears throat> 14,000 movies with content rating, country, uh, single uh, genre, duration, gross income, and IMDb score. <clears throat> and we will go to IMDb score. And now we'll stop for a moment and just to explain what, what this red and blue means here. So the red is the histogram, is a rather fat histogram of IMDb scores. Everybody is familiar with IMDb scores uh, in a general population of 14,000 movies. So red is so something which we call plot zero. Plot zero shows that essentially average IMDb score is somewhere between six, six and seven. And you can see this is a frequency of movies. So there's about 30% of movies <clears throat> which have the score around six. And there is a little bit more, 35% of movies which are of the score seven and much less eight. And of course, uh, the highest score is just a very minimal proportion. So this is the distribution of IMDb scores over the entire data set. So what is blue? Blue is the, <clears throat> the plot, the bar plot of IMDb distribution over some unknown slice of data. And uh, you can, of course, uh, see that there is 160 plots. So there's 160 slices and I can go over those slices and, and you can see how they vary, right? And we don't know what the slices are because we don't want to disturb the user uh, by showing the slice definitions on the top. So only if you're interested in some slice, you can you can you can look at them, right? So uh, let us go back here to to the one which we started with, right? So let's assume that this is what puzzled us. What is the subset of movies for which uh, uh, scores of seven and scores of eight are so much more frequent than uh, among general population? And you do it by hovering here, and uh, that's kind of like a aha moment, you know, which says, oh, what is a slice? This is biographies. So rather than telling you ahead of time, we just show it later if you're interested. And then we can go farther, you know, and, and try to see maybe there is something else interesting. Maybe we are interested in this one, right? This seems to be kind of bottom heavy, right? Lower scores, right? So what are these movies? where horror movies with R rating, right? And, and so on, right? I mean, here's another one which is of, of great value. Here is something which is more of an average again. And we can go back here and see these are PG-13 American comedies. So this allows uh, a user, a non-programmer to kind of find pockets of uh, information, slices of data in the movie's data set, which are of interest. You know, you can do it for different attributes, like for example, for a uh, content type, right? So here is a content type, uh, content rating, sorry, content rating. And you can see that, uh, you know, uh, this is a distribution of content rating among general movies, the red, plot zero, and blue is a distribution on uh, on this unknown slice. And let, let us go farther and we can see, oh, well, okay, again, we can, we can just browse and see what's happening. And here it's like, oh my God, that's an interesting plot, right? Uh, which we've seen here, which was, this gigantic difference, right? 72% of PG rating are in this uh, in the slice as opposed to just 17%. So what could that be? What could be that slice? And we go here and not surprisingly, not that much surprisingly, these are family movies, right? And one can go farther and search, oh, 
there is something very interesting. A lot of R movies. So what are these movies? Crime movies. So this is a way to kind of explore the data, find uh, slices which are interesting and explore them farther. Uh, for example, in class, we ask students to uh, to uh, test uh, using hypothesis testing and compute the p-values and validate statistically those results in our studio. So uh, once you find a subset like this one, you can just go to our studio with a data set and validate it further. So this is a preliminary tool. Uh, to to, uh, to to discover those leads and then follow with a rigorous analysis later. Thank you.